Hey, I'm back with another video. It's JP behind the cameras this time with David, and um, basically, it's just going to be him talking about politics or whatever it is he's going to talk about. And I think it's got a bit of politics in it, but you'll hear everything in a minute. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, you can like it if you wish. You can um, basically subscribe if you want to. But anyway, thank you guys for the subscribe, the love and the support, and Thank you for the views on my channel as well. It's we're going stronger every day, so I may try and get three videos in a week, but we'll see. Or I might just keep it as two. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, we're going to. I'm going to hand it over to David and let him talk about what he wants to talk about. So, uh, as I said, I'm David, and I'm from Northern Ireland. What am I doing in England? I'm stroke London. I come to England or get out of Northern Ireland um, this time of year, for a couple of days this time of year because it's a bit complicated and it's a bit um, one sided and in recent days from last Sunday to now there has been a bit of tensions in parts of Belfast and in particular in one section of the community because of the nature of this time of year. What is this time of year in Northern Ireland? It's the 310 or 320th anniversary of what the Unionists call King Billy taking King James on at the Battle of Boyne, which creates the 12th of July. It is today in Northern Ireland where people march. Some march through areas are not wanted and others they just marched with three Belfast up to the field and then marched back home again at four o'clock. Um, shops in Belfast used to stay shut all day. Now, because they called Orange Fest, means shops clo open at one o'clock and close at four. So they're shut before the parade comes back down through the town and back home. As I said, there's sometimes trouble that normally would have happened in certain areas of the 12th, but it's starting to happen like yesterday for example where, where a bonfire was built in a council land and on council land and the councils before the council the council before that day before yesterday asked them to move the bonfire out of the council property they said no so the council decided that they would send men in to take the bonfire out and remove it themselves which then has Part of recently they said they issued death threats to the contractors. So that's my reason getting away from Northern Ireland because of its political situation over and only losses for one day or in some cases two days where you have the bone fire in the 12. <coughs> and in some areas of Belfast where the priest not wanted, and even in some areas in Northern Ireland, the priest only losses about five minutes because some could be four lodges, some could be two lodges and they join up with the main demonstration demonstration in each area to go to wherever they're supposed to go and we then have, have a pretty good situation where we're supposed to have a government and nobody is running the country it has to be a game run by the MPs at Westminster who will dictate the future of Northern Ireland and it is a pretty good it is a time of confrontation the time that people fear with the Brexit happening and so on and you know nobody has a fear of what's going to happen nor are for the remain like Scotland did and like parts of England did and people see it as we're being taken out against our will same as, as it is in the south of the border of Scotland uh, so there's uncertainty around in Northern Ireland of what is to come and that is basically a bit about myself and a bit about Northern Ireland. Thank you. Well there you go folks. Uh, sorry if it dragged on but hey ho, there you go. Um, yeah we're gonna leave it there for now and I just came up with an idea because it's 
because he's passionate about that, we may do part two. So this is part one, and we're going to do part two in a bit. So just hang tight, get a cup of tea, get a get a cigar, uh, do a um, I don't know, make a, a roll of blunt, do what you want. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> 